After watching the video, you will be able to describe the pathway during digestion within the digestive system. Digestion starts in mouth, also known as oral cavity. This is the process mechanically breaking down food. Chemical digestion starts in salivary glands. Release saliva in oral cavity. Salivary is rich in amylase and breaks down carbohydrates. After bolus breakdown, quickly swallowing begins. The food bolus passes through pharynx into the esophagus. Pharynx start rhythmic muscle contraction pushes the bolus into the esophagus. The bolus passes into the stomach through the lower esophageal sphincter. Lower esophageal sphincter closed, preventing reflux. The stomach is various internal anatomical parts. Cardia, fundus, body, antrum. The muscular outfit of stomach called phylorus. Stomach surface folding called rugae. Pharynx start contraction continuously in stomach. Churning and mixing to the food bolus with hydrochloric acid in the digestive enzyme pepsin. Neural and hormonal stimulation causes the pepsin released by stomach, which start the chemical digestion protein. This happens to reduce bolus fluid like substances called chime, chime riches, proper softness caused, phylorus opens. The chime slowly releases the first portion of small intestine called duodenum pharynx. Construction continued to the duodenum. Within the duodenum mix, pancreatic juice and bile, the process of digestion causes neurohumoral stimulation of pancreatic juice. Pancreas cells release pancreatic juice a flow through pancreatic duct, which lead to the main pancreatic duct and accessory pancreatic duct. Juice released into the duodenum through major and minor papillae mixes with time secrets the bile juice into tiny bile canal. Bile juice enters the gallbladder. Bile juice concentrated and stored. During digestion, the gallbladder releases bile through the cystic duct into common bile duct. Bile enters into the duodenum. Bile mixes with chyme and helps digestion. Chyme continuous mix with digest fat. Chyme continuous mixes with digestive enzymes moves through duodenum into the jejunum. Jejunum is second portion of small intestine. Nutrients and digested food is absorbed bloodstream into the jejunum. Bolus reaches ileum. More nutrients absorbed in ileum. Bolus passes into the large intestine through ileocecal valve. First portion of the large intestine called sesum. The main function of the large intestine 
is to absorb water and electrolytes. Bolus pushed into the acid colon and hepatic flexure. Bolus pushed into transverse colon then travels panic flexure. Then bolus moves descending colon into the sigmoid colon. Then bolus moves into rectum and anus. Anus contains anal picture for defecation. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Don't forget.